Hello, good evening. So this is Bharat. So welcome back to another video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to cover how to uh, upload a document for our workshop also. Small demonstration, so how to do that process in the new beta version in Cisco. Uh, first of all, we have to be login our account with a proper username and password. After we log in, so probably you have to know, already have an idea, so what is the dashboard. So this is our dashboard. So, so I am going to take a specific day for to upload the document for this purpose here. So uh, in case I, am, I, I took my diary. So in the diary I am taking the May month. So month of May 2024. This is not a probably the appropriate month. So I just taken for an example for the, the, the reason I am going to sell 2024 May month. So under the 2024 this, uh, testing purpose here, I just uh, open this uh, month record in our work schedule so 2024 under that may month so you already identified so this i just going to upload on one kind of documents the pdf documents or the uh, picture images or any kinds of documents uh, with a specific day so on here you and you can notice the new option is there the upload document option in the beta version so i'm going to before that, before I upload a document, I'm going to show in a one day, in a day specific date. In a, I just show the yeah, one of the day in the May month. I just get my work done report. So this is the work done report. You can notice on the work done report, I have only three records, and they are the Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The fourth uh, of uh, May is not available in here. So I just create my work schedules, uh, and then I will upload an image file or PDF file on this day. Okay, so first uh, I need to be take my. I'm going to take the dashboard. Just open my work schedules. So I need to be under the day at four. Okay, new data. You enter your proper day. So if you want, you can put your arrival and departure time on the specific arrival departure time. Okay. If the work schedule has the deviation, you should select the deviation. And the kilometers is also like that. Or you can put the kilometers in. If you have the GPS location, you should be click the GPS location. And after that, I temporarily save the data and update that. So the 4th of May, I just upload some of the data in the work schedule. So then I need to be uploading the online. Okay. The purpose of this video tutorial, so I'm going to demonstrate. So how to upload on a work schedules for uh, upload an image or documents for the specific day. Right? So right after I just select the dashboard. First of all, I need to be show the record for the month. So this is the December day. I just entered. Uh, okay, that's Saturday, uh, the fourth of May, two thousand twenty-four. So I just entered the sample data in the new data and sample testing. So now we are going to annex some kinds of documents with a specific day. Right? So how to upload the document on a specific day? First of all, we have to be open and upload documents. Follow. After we open that, we have to be select the day. So I put my 2024 May. I think we put the fourth. Okay, just open the day. Here you can notice what kinds of data I input on the fourth of May. So that data is available on here. And after that, here you can notice no available documents to view on here buttons there. So here's the choose file option. So you can select any kinds of screenshots or images or PDF documents or Word documents, any kinds of documents you can select. Them. I just select one of the document on here. Just upload the document. So the document. Okay. Okay. I just select on document so on here. So that's a document is uploaded there. I'll choose another document on there.
So you can choose any kinds of documents, uh, not only the picture image, you can choose the PDF uh, files, you can choose the uh, image document, uh, word documents, or any kinds of documents you can select it. I just select random images on there. Uh, I just select a PDF file, one of the PDF file on there. Uh, one PDF file and two image files is there. So if you click on the image file, it uh, will be pop up the screen in the large image mode. So now you have an idea so how to upload an image uh, image or documents with our work schedule. Right? So we have to check what kind of, how the work schedule uh, uploaded work schedules uh, documents is visible on there. So we have to go to the dashboard and I will show you on the main month. So these are the document three kinds of images in there and one kinds of PDF documents we already annexed with the images. So when you are going to take the print or uh, serving as a PDF document, that image is also already visible in there, right? Okay. At the same time, so you can check the images with by click the images and you can check that uh, text or image as a full screen also. Okay. Uh, then, uh, okay, if you are a, a checking officer as an advanced program or work schedule, if you are, uh, have the privileges to check the other ones, advanced program or work schedule, so you should be go to the check approvals on there after click the check approval you have to be selected so I upload the document in 5th of uh, 2000, 5th of May 2024 I just select open the date so now you can notice as a checking officer I can analyze the images and PDF documents and also here right? so you can just by click the documents and the same time a uh, few days before I the day before yesterday I will launch we will launch the new options to in the checking office you can get the printouts also so if you select the print button so you can get the printout also if you are checking office you can uh, print out uh, their any any others uh, any other ones who are sharing their work schedules or advanced programs within you their documents you can get a uh, snapshot or the serving as a PDF files or the uh, printout so you can make it both of them so I will show how to save as a PDF. Here's the save as a PDF. So default settings is when we're going to click the print button, it's automatically going to the browser-based printing options on there. So on the printer option, if you select the serve as PDF, you will save the document as a PDF format. So you can notice under there uh, this document. After end of this document, the signature file is going to the ne next page. Okay. If you want to save only the first and second pages or first page. You will select just only the range of that here. If I select the page number one, only the page number one is visible there. So then you can save the page one as a PDF document. If you have the printer facilities, you can get the print out. In our, our vision is to reduce the print printing paper. So that's why we recommended to everyone save as a PDF document. Within your safety issues, if you face some safety issues, you can save the document as a PDF file. Don't print the document and don't waste the papers. Okay, this is a way so how to we will upload the document with the uh, uh, work schedules just in a brief introductions uh, Word documents. So you already familiar within the previous version of Cisco so how to upload the document. So in this demonstration the mainly purpose is how to the upload document is working in the beta versions. So I just slightly change the based on the server resource and then uh, lots of uh, backend studies and how the uh, program is working on so uh, lots of studies and after that we will get decide to separate this uh, upload documents in a separate part so other than it will it's uh, reduce lots of server uh, save the server resource to us so that's why we separate that upload documents in a separate view thanks for watching so keep in touch with us to the next video tutorials so until that keep in touch with our Cisco YouTube channel also thank you